Hey everybody, it's Luke here. Um, today we're talking about the differences between tendinitis and tendinosis. Uh, in the clinic here at Gordon Physical Therapy, we see this a lot. It's a common question. You know, you, you see the two terms kind of thrown out, maybe mixed together a little bit. And I just kind of want to clear the air on what the difference is between the two. I'm also going to go into a couple examples, like a shoulder tendinitis, tendinosis situation, and also like an Achilles issue as well. So I'll get to that a little later in the video. And then I'll also talk about, um, once you know the difference, how that's going to affect the way that you would approach the treatment of those two different things. So chances are most of you have heard about tendinitis. You know, and tendon refers to the tendon of the muscle. So as the muscle is kind of tapering off where it's going to attach to a bone, that's your tendon. So that's the root of the word tendon. Itis then is inflammation. So it's just, if you break it down really simple, it's just inflammation of a tendon. So you take your shoulder, for example, and uh, say you're playing tennis this weekend, or you did a bunch of like overhead movements, say you were chopping wood, or you're throwing a frisbee for a few hours or a football, whatever you did, and then you know the next day you're feeling like, wow, that's sore. You know, maybe you got like a rotator cuff tendonitis. One of those little muscle tendons is now inflamed. So it's pretty easy to understand. You know, it's an inflammatory process. It just happened. You know, it hasn't been bothering you for the last few years. It just happened. Yesterday you were fine. Today you're a little stiff and sore and achy. So, you know, um, physiologically, your body is responding to irritation. You overworked that tendon, that muscle, it's irritated, had like some micro tears on, you know, a small, small scale, and now your body is trying to clean it up. That's where your inflammatory process comes in. So you get swelling, you get some redness, maybe some heat, and your body is literally paying more attention to it now to try to send in some stuff to clean out the, the damaged tissue and then send in some good stuff to repair it. With any luck, that's a short-term process. Um, maybe you take, take it easy on that shoulder for a little while. Maybe you ice it a little bit. Um, some folks would take an anti-inflammatory for a short term, although that's not really my style, but some people do it. Um, so that's, that's a tendonitis. And again, you can see that easily on your shoulder. Same thing on like your Achilles tendon, which is that big tendon on the back of your calf that attaches to your heel. So kind of assuming people know what that is. But so on an Achilles thing, it's the same thing. You know, maybe you walked too much the day before, you went on a long hike, and now it's just, it's a little bit swollen and it's painful. That's your tendonitis. Tendinosis, on the other hand, and we get this a lot like on, say, an MRI. Say there's tendinosis of this tendon. And basically, tendinosis is more of a chronic issue. So the osis is more like a damage to the tendon. So what you would see is, say you've got you know, these rotator cuff tendons on an MRI report say that you have tendinosis of like the supraspinatus tendon, which is that top tendon in your rotator cuff. What that means then is that it's no longer inflamed like you just did it. Chances are this is more of a chronic issue. It's been getting damaged a little bit, you know, a little damage here and there over a long period of time. And now the tendon is actually starting to appear different. It's actually damaged. Whereas with your tendonitis, if you had looked at that on an MRI, there wouldn't be any difference. You wouldn't see like damage to the tendon. The little tiny tears that I mentioned are on a very, very, very small level. So there's no structural change in the tendon. So that's kind of nice. But again, tendinosis is actually being damaged. So on an MRI, if you ever look at an image of an MRI, which most of you never will, which is just fine, the tendon won't appear as, as like um, easy to see. It'll be kind of like fuzzy. You'll see like some scar tissue and potentially even some fatty tissue building up. And whereas with a tendonitis, which again is more short term, is having inflammation, the tendinosis isn't inflamed anymore. It's not getting the extra blood flow, it's actually getting less blood flow. So you could see how that would be a really bad thing long term because the tendon is now damaged and it's not getting blood flow. So the body doesn't even recognize that it needs to repair it anymore. Um, so that's the main difference. You, you might see with a tendinosis, this is easy to spot, like with an Achilles tendinosis, the tendon itself, since it's so visible on the back of your heel, is actually starting to like thicken. And you may think that's swelling, but it's not actual swelling. It might be what we call edema, uh, which is more like, it's kind of like swelling, but it stays along for, you know, stays around for a lot longer. But a lot of times what you're feeling is the scar tissue that's building up. So you can actually touch and feel and see that tendon has actually structurally changed. You don't need an MRI on that one potentially. Um, so uh, again, I hope that kind of clears up just in people's minds what the difference between the two is. And now that you know the difference you know, uh, between them kind of physiologically and structurally, you could probably imagine that this is going to really dictate how you treat those things. So I'll get someone in here with a diagnosis of, again, Achilles tendonitis. I look at him and evaluate him and take the history, which is big on this, and say, actually, it's probably more of a tendinosis. So instead of trying to like decrease the inflammation, like you would with a tendonitis. 
I'm going to actually try to maybe stir things up a little bit and I'm going to actually try to irritate it and inflame it so that your body now recognizes that it's an issue and it needs to be healed. So again with a tendonitis it's almost like we're trying to get the inflammation and the pain down you know to begin with which is a good treatment philosophy anyways you know get the pain down and then work on things like strength and motion and things like that but with the tendinosis now we're saying okay well we're gonna have to stir things up and get the blood flowing get your body keyed into the fact that it needs to start the inflammatory process which is a very normal natural process so that's where you get into things like um, friction massage deep tissue massage get the blood flowing uh, this is kind of a fine line we have to walk as therapists because we're going to inflame you like I said for for maybe you know half the day it's going to be kind of inflamed but then the next day and the next day it should really start to feel better and then of course as we're progressing then we get into things again like strengthening and improving flexibility and things like that so uh, I hope that helps kind of clear the air on those two terms you know if you're if you're thinking you have one or the other or you've been told you have one or the other you, you know, you may not have the actual right one going on. A lot of people just call it a tendonitis, and it could be a tendinosis. Um, or, although, if you've had it confirmed on an MRI or something, that's pretty accurate. So, uh, again, hope that helps. If you have questions on, you know, any other types of tendonitis, tendinosis, could be your shoulder, it could be the Achilles. You know, a lot of the hip issues can be tendonitis versus tendinosis. And again, that dictates the way we treat. Um, so again, if you have questions on that, please leave a comment below. I, of course, will leave my contact information in the description of the video. So if you want to email me or anything like that, I'm happy to answer your questions. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day. Thanks.